The history of software configuration management (SCM) in computing can be traced back as early as the 1950s when CM for configuration management, originally for hardware development and production control, was being applied to software development. The first software configuration management was most likely done manually. Eventually, software tools were written to manage software changes. History records tend to be based on tools and companies and lend concepts to a secondary plane. Topic Timeline Early 1960s or even late 1950s, CDC update and IBM IEB underscore update. Late 1960s, early 1970s, Professor Leon Presser at the University of California, Santa Barbara produced a thesis on change and configuration control. This concept was a response to a contract he was working on with a defense contractor who made aircraft engines for the U.S. Navy. Early 1970s, Unix make By 1970 CDC Update was an advanced product. Circa 1972, Bell Labs paper describing the original DIFF algorithm. 1972, with an IEEE paper in 1975, source code control system, SCCS, Mark Roach Kind Bell Labs. Originally programmed in SNOBOL for OS, 360, subsequently rewritten in C for Unix used DIFF for comparing files. 1970s, Lyle, Illinois-based Pansophic Systems offered PANVALET, which was an early source code control system for the mainframe market. 1975, Professor Press's work eventually grew into a commercially available product called Change and Configuration Control CCC, which was sold by the Softool Corporation. Revision Control System RCS, Walter Titchy. Early 1980s, Patch around 1985, Larry Wall. 1984, Aide de Camp. 1986, Concurrent Version System CVS. 2000 – Subversion initiated by Collabnet. Early 2000s – Decade – Distributed revision control systems like Bitkeeper and New Arch become viable. <laughs> <laughs> Background Until the 1980s, SCM could only be understood as CM applied to software development. Some basic concepts such as identification and baseline well-defined point in the evolution of a project were already clear, but what was at stake was a set of techniques oriented towards the control of the activity, and using formal processes, documents, request forms, control boards etc. It is only after this date that the use of software tools applying directly to software artifacts representing the actual resources, has allowed SCM to grow as an autonomous entity from traditional CM. The use of different tools has actually led to very distinct emphases. Traditional CM for software, typically around change management examples, continuous, CVS or clearcase UCM Line-oriented management, based on patches or change sets Focused on derived objects and build management example, base clearcase, clearmake See also Revision control